January 30th, 2017, the day I started my first job as a software engineer at a fintech company in Chicago. In 30 days, I would receive my salary. Not just any salary, my very first paycheck. The first salary is not just money. It's a reward for years of hard work and sacrifice. In some sense, it's the validation of your worth and the beginning of financial independence. The day arrived and I checked my bank account. $5,833 minus taxes had been deposited. That's $70,000 per year before taxes. So what did I buy with my very first salary? Literally nothing. I closed my laptop and moved on. $70,000 was not enough to make me happy, but not for the reasons you might think. That's why I made this video. I want to show you exactly how my salary grew over 7 years as a software engineer. How much did I pay in taxes and how much did I spend? But most importantly, how did my happiness change over time? Let's dive in. My starting salary was $70,000 or about $54,000 after taxes. I lived in downtown Chicago spending half my salary and saving the rest. Life was good, but I was not very happy. But why was that? You see, I had entered programming world late. Most of my friends were already working at big tech companies, making much more than me. I constantly compared myself to them, feeling behind. This prevented me from enjoying what I had. After work, I would spend hours learning skills that would help me break into big tech. I did the same all weekend, never allowing myself to relax. I would skip social events decline invitations to hang out, and even cut short the calls with family. My entire life revolved around catching up to where I thought I should be. In hindsight, it was a big mistake. I learned two very important lessons from this experience. First, comparison is the thief of joy. We all feel like we are in a race to get ahead of others. But for a fair race, we need two things. The same starting point and the same path. We are all born into different families in different parts of the world. Our starting points cannot be the same. And since the starting points differ, the paths cannot be same by default. There's no point in comparing. Second, happiness is internal, not external. As Naval Ravikant says, Reality is neutral. Our reactions to it might be different. I had more than I needed, yet I chose to be unhappy. I had a job in my chosen field, a comfortable place to live and enough money to save. But instead of appreciating these things, I focused on what I didn't have. This mindset affected not just my career satisfaction but overall quality of my life. I would walk past beautiful Chicago architecture without ever noticing it. I would eat at amazing restaurants without truly savoring the food. All because my mind was constantly elsewhere, fixated on a future that I thought would bring happiness. Moving on to 2018, during my first appraisal, I was told that everybody gets meets expectations by default in their first year. I I received a below inflation raise, bumping my salary to around $73,000. I was indifferent because I thought I would be working at a big tech company soon. A $2-$3,000 increase would not impact my lifestyle anyway. Taxes, spending and happiness levels remained largely unchanged that year. 2019 is where the things started to shift. After a year of pestering friends for referrals and getting rejected by all major tech companies, I was close to giving up. Each rejection felt like a personal failure hurting my confidence. I started questioning if I was even cut out for this field at all. Then a friend visited Chicago. He was sharing stories about his recent job switch and negotiating multiple offers. I don't know what it was, but something about his experiences motivated me. I decided to give it one more shot. This time, the stars aligned. I received an offer from Amazon for around $180,000 in Seattle, more than double my previous salary. After taxes, that is around $134,000. After years of struggle and self-doubt, I had finally broken through. It all felt unreal. But here's the thing. My spending increased because Seattle is pricier than Chicago. I also moved into a nicer apartment and ate better food. But the spending increase was not proportional to my salary bump. I was spending around $40,000 per year now. I was trying to keep lifestyle inflation in check, remembering the lessons from my early days in Chicago. More importantly, I was happier. But I don't think it was because of the money. I was happy because I set a goal for myself and I achieved it. The journey was tough. But I kept at it. The resilience gave me a confidence that extended beyond just my career. Anyway, my savings increased which meant faster progress towards financial freedom, which felt great. I started exploring investment options, learning about index funds and real estate. The idea that my money could work for me while I slept was exciting and empowering. But as a goal-oriented person, I always need something to work towards. The thrill of achieving Amazon quickly faded replaced by a new hunger. I decided to get promoted in next 12 months. This goal consumed me, much like my earlier fixation on big tech. I worked hard, 
often putting in extra hours and taking on additional projects. I volunteered for tough assignments no one else wanted. I mentored new team members and contributed to my team as much as I could. My life once again became all about work. But this time, I told myself it was different because I was working at a great company. I achieved my goal in 2020 getting promoted in about 12 months. But the result was not what I expected. I was told that my salary was already high for my new level, so the raise would not be significant. My total compensation increased to $200,000, which is about $149,000 after taxes. My spending habits, however, remained unchanged. Most of the increase came from stock appreciation rather than the raise. As Buddha said, Desire is the root of all suffering. My happiness dipped slightly because I did not get what I hoped for. The promotion, which I had worked so hard for, felt hollow. The title and the salary change did not bring the satisfaction that I had anticipated. Had I known that promotion would only boost my ego, I might not have worked so hard. Realizing that incentives were not aligned for me to work harder, I decided to change jobs. But this time, I decided to approach the job search differently. I looked for roles that aligned with my values and offered genuine growth opportunities. With years of interview experience under my belt, I made strategic changes. I switched to Python for coding interviews. I thought that simplicity of Python will help me perform better under pressure. I started applying for companies known for their strong engineering culture and innovative projects. This time, I landed multiple offers from Google, Meta, and Uber. The tables had turned. Instead of me desperately seeking any big tech job, I now had options. This put me in a strong position to negotiate. I carefully evaluated each option, considering not just the compensation, but also the work-life balance, growth opportunities, and company culture. I ended up with an offer of slightly over $300,000 and joined Google in 2021. That's around $213,000 after taxes in Seattle. The numbers were impressive. But they were not the main source of my satisfaction. My happiness spiked again for two main reasons. First, I had been rejected by Google two times before. So finally cracking it felt amazing. It showed my growth and hard work. Second, I was working on exciting projects and learning a lot. The work was challenging in the best way possible. I was surrounded by brilliant minds tackling complex problems that could impact millions of users. I was feeling stagnant in my previous job and this change reignited my motivation. I also got married this year and this brought a new dimension to my my life, forcing me to balance my career ambitions with my personal life. My spending increased but not dramatically as expenses were shared with my wife. I spent around $50,000 that year. Stocks performed well during this period. So in 2022, my salary increased to around $330,000. That's around $230,000 after tax. But 2022 was also when the travel restrictions eased after COVID. After being stuck at home for so long, we were eager to explore the world. My spending increased due to travel reaching about $60,000 that year. With my career on stable trajectory, I found myself seeking meaning beyond work. That's when I decided to start this YouTube channel with my wife. For the first time, I had a sense of purpose outside work. Suddenly, I could help people at scale, sharing lessons that I had learned through my journey. Creating content was challenging, but very rewarding. I spent hours scripting and filming. But unlike the extra hours I had put in for promotions, I did not mind it this time because this work energized me. Receiving messages from viewers who learned from my videos boosted my happiness to next level. I realized that impact and fulfillment don't always correlate with income. The satisfaction of helping someone to land their first tech job was incomparable to any bonus I had received. 2023 was very similar to 2022 in terms of finances. I received some extra money from stock refreshers, increasing my salary to around 350k or 244k after taxes. Spending remained around 60k, but the real growth happened in my personal brand. The YouTube channel continued to do well and my LinkedIn presence also grew significantly. My Overall happiness level was steady, but the sources of my happiness had diversified beyond my job. Reflecting back, I realized that biggest factor in my happiness was not the salary itself, but what it represented. Growth achievement and the freedom to do what truly matters to me. The money allowed me to stop worrying about basic needs and focus on self-actualization. But it's important to remember that everybody's journey is unique. What brought me happiness might not work for you. The key is to continuously reflect on what truly matters to you and align your career and life choices accordingly. That's all for today. If you feel like you are wasting away your life, this video here will help you stop from doing that. My name is Sahil and I'll see you in the next one.